In this video, we are looking at how to update routes in flight for both VFR and IFR, including direct to options, the many ways to go direct, adding and deleting fixes to your route, and some of the finer points of the nav log. Let's start by imagining you're flying along VFR, looking at the sectional, and you decide you'd like to proceed direct to an airport. There are multiple ways for you to get a direct course into ForeFlight. If you haven't yet located the airport on the chart, you can simply put a D and then the identifier into the search field of the maps page, and ForeFlight will draw a direct course to that airport. You can also do the same through the edit window of the nav log. Simply drop the nav log down, select edit, and type D and the name of the airport or fix you'd like to proceed directly to. It's important to note that when you are working within the edit window of the nav log, searching for fixes here in the search box will not wipe away your course, but rather find the fix on the chart, indicate it, and offer you an option to go direct to. You may even put in some performance data and an altitude if you're curious about how long it will take and how much fuel you'll burn, which you'd read here with winds aloft included. And you can modify that data here by tapping in the field you'd like to edit. If you are already looking at the airport on the maps page, you can tap the screen on or near the airport symbol and hold for a moment. You will then be presented with a list of options. Tap the orange direct symbol next to the airport or any other point in the list that you'd like to proceed direct to. Now let's imagine that you've already put in a flight plan. Let's use a route from my recent flight to Colorado. We'll leave Palo Alto and then fly to Sedona and then on to Durango for the night. Now if we decide we'd rather go to Durango first and hit Sedona on the way home, we can modify the order by tapping and holding for a moment and then dragging the fix to the desired order. If we decide we don't want Sedona at all, we can throw it away by sliding it out of the edit window. If we decide en route that we simply don't want to go to Sedona, we can draw a course direct to Durango by viewing the nav log and tapping the right arrow symbol next to Durango. You will then be presented with an option to fly direct to Durango or fly the leg between Sedona and Durango. Or, if you're looking at the edit window, simply tap and hold the fix you want to skip and slide it out of the window. Having to skip fixes or activate legs is very common in IFR flying. If you have an IFR route set up like here, for example, and air traffic control tells you to proceed direct to another point in your flight plan, or you've been vectored and need to activate a leg of your flight plan, you will do that here through your nav log. You will tap this right arrow symbol to be offered the option to fly direct to that point or to fly that leg of the flight plan. If you tap the name of the fix, you will be shown it on the chart and offered a quick way to go direct here through the orange direct symbol. If you are looking at the nav log edit window, you will tap and release the name of the fix to see the menu of possible options. Now, if you've put in a route and you'd like to modify it, you'll need to know how to delete and add fixes to an existing flight plan. On the sectional, you can add waypoints to the middle of a route by simply tapping and holding the blue line until you see a circle around your finger, and then drag the line to or near the new point. When you let go, you'll see an option to add the fix to the route. Tap there, and you'll see it added to the route. To add a fix to the end of your flight plan, simply tap and hold on the fix and select this Add This Fix to Route option that is presented. To add fixes in the Navlog Edit window, you may tap anywhere to bring up the keyboard, type the name of the fix, and then position it anywhere you'd like by sliding it around the page. You may also insert a fix before or after another fix by tapping on the first and choosing the desired option from the menu. To remove a fix from the edit window, you may drag it out of the window or tap and release and select delete. To delete a fix directly from the course line, simply tap and hold on that point for a moment and when you release, select the delete from route option in the upper right corner of the window. For more information, please check out our blog or website and as always, email any questions to team at foreflight.com. From all of us here at Team 4 Flight, thank you.